Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try our hand at these examples right here. We're trying to find 24% of 40. When we see the word of, we know we need to multiply. 24% can then be converted into a fraction or a decimal. So that means that this is equal to 0 0.24 multiplied times 40, or we can write it as 24 over 100 multiply times 40. So when we do that, we have 24 times 40, that would be 800, that would be 960 over 100, which is 9.6. Our next example, we're taking the number 35 and dividing it by 40%. Well, that means we can say that this is equal to 35 divided by 0 0.40, because when we convert from percent to a decimal, we need two decimal places, and then we have the number to be equal to that. All right, divide by 0.4, hmm. Well, another way to say that is, this is equal to 35, divided by 40 over 100, or this is equal to 35, divided by the fraction, 40 divided by 100, which means that can be written as the product of its inverse, so this is equal to 35 multiplied times 100 over 40, and so this would be equal to 3500 divided by 40. Well, first of all, we can divide both sides by 10, and then we can say that this is equal to 175 divided by 2, and that is equal to 87.5. The next one, it says, what is 30% of 40%? Again, when we see the word of, we know we need to multiply. And we can convert the 30% and the 40% to two decimals. So this can be written as 0 0.30 multiplied times 0 0.40. And so it would be 12 with two decimal places moved over. That would be 0 0.12. And finally, it says, if Jim makes $160 per week and gets a 5% raise, how much does he make now? So there's two ways to do that. We can say the raise is equal to 5% of the original amount that he made. That's $160. So 5% of 160 is equal to 5 over 100 times 160. Or, or, well, we can work it out like this, 100 goes into 160, 1.6 times, so that's 5 divided by 1.6, which is equal to $8. So he gets an $8 raise, we add that raise to the original amount, so the new amount, the new amount is equal to the original amount, which is $160, plus the raise that he got, which is $8, so it makes $168 now as the new age. Or what we could have said was the new wage is equal to 100% plus 5%. 100% was the original amount, plus 5% is now the total new amount. So the new wage equals 105% of the old wage multiplied times $160. Which means 105% can be written as 1.05 multiply times $160, and if we multiply this times this, we get $168. And so there's two ways in which we can tackle that second problem. We can either calculate the raise and add it to the original, or simply say the total will be 105%, 100 plus 5% of the original amount. And that's how it's done.